Hi, guys. You talk with me again. Freaking. Right. That's better. I'm taller than you. Hey. I slouch sometimes, though. My posture's not great. I need to work on it. You need to work on it. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Should we be making like a little jingle for like our intro? I've noticed a lot of podcasts have a little jingle and we just go, hi, guys. I had that jingle I made of your voice the other day. Yeah, I could use that. that. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> it was really funny. It's coming out soon to a planet near you. Oh, sorry. I better let Beck drink, open her. No, it's fine. You can talk. I, I can talk. I'm allowed to, am I? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we, you might have seen a picture we did in Paris where she did grunge. Well, she didn't do grunge. I just photographed her doing what she normally does <laughs> in, the in the kitchen. In the kitchen. So we did a shoot and then we did a, a bit of filming. The filming originally, I was only doing it to compare the dynamic range I could get with S log, well, with a, a log file compared to what I could get with a still mm. picture. And then it looked pretty good. So I, I think I only recorded three minutes. It wasn't very long. It felt like you were filming for longer than that. I was really surprised when you said that. Yeah, the file only said three or four minutes max. And it wasn't that, I really ran out of footage pretty yeah. quick. But anyway, so I wrote some music and because I got a Fred again vibe off the room, I thought, oh, Fred again always has these vocals in there. I thought, I have hundreds of Beck vocals. And it was the very first podcast I listened to and I only used before we even started recording the podcast, just us normally talking our shit. And I did have a really bad thing, which Beck never heard. It was sort of like a, a just a squeak noise. You know how some people just put a noise off yeah. beat, but then that annoyed the crap out of me very quickly. <laughs> but then there was another thing I put where she was something like you're setting the camera up. You said, "Oh, the angles," and you had this sort of wave in your voice, and they've gone the angles afterwards. I played that a few times, but then that's got stuck in my head as well. Yeah. So even now when I listen to you talk, I hear oh, the, the angles. <laughs> but yeah, that's coming out soon. I, was, I actually enjoyed doing that. And I, you still, I don't think you're 100% honest with me about the music. Yeah, I can tell on your eyes. I told you I was happy to just to dump it and just no, leave the music. You spent so long on it. and That didn't matter. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, now I'm going to re-edit it. No. You've just answered it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Can everyone hear that? <laughs> so if your wife was to go, it's fine, you know what that means. It's fine. No, don't do that because it's easy for me just to go cut and not have any of the vocals in there. Look, I, cause I, I can't tell. Like, I Because think, you don't like listening to your voice. Yeah, and so I can't tell if it's fine. I can't tell if I don't like what I'm saying. Well, it was supposed to be just a mindless talk like you normally do. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'll just cut it. I can't tell if I, like, I didn't like it when there was talking all the way Way throughout the song. And now that it's just at the start, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. No, I'll cut it. No. like It's fine, doesn't work for me. (laughs) It takes one click of a mouse for me to just re-drop the, take the vocal out and drop it over. No, I don't, it's this thing that, Because then what if you take it out and then if it's, what if it's, I don't know. It's not your, no, it's like your vision. You wanted to have that in there. So I don't want to take your vision away from you. And I just didn't want the talking all the way throughout that. So that's why I say it's fine. Just like what about if I just take the one before the drop out and the very last line so it's only the fr- first No, because line. you said that you liked that line before the drop. That was like, the th- see, it's your art at the end of the day. Yeah, but it's not really my, that's not, the song wasn't, it was, like I wouldn't write that song for me. It was written to try and suit that room. Oh. I'll drop the vocals no, out. <laughs> so everybody, when you hear it, imagine how good it would sound with the vocals in there. They can just listen to the podcast. <laughs> they can play the, the podcast they play and bo- they can have the top. Same. <laughs> no, but I'm, this is why uh, you models drive me up the wall. If you just say it. No, because I couldn't I can tell. still disagree and say, no, shut up. I'm loving this. Yeah, I know, but I well, couldn't. Well, it wasn't. I'm here nor there with it. That's why I well, asked so your I. opinion. I am. This, I was very strong against the vocals all the way throughout, but with how it is now, I'm neither here nor there. That's why I'm like, it's fine. I think when I listened back to with you last time, I think it doesn't need that at the drop. It worked better when there was talking and there was that gap, then you said something and the drop hit. But now there's no talking, all of a sudden something gets said. It doesn't have that same impact I felt when I first had it there. 
we'll revisit it. No, I think I'll just drop the last vocals and leave the start vocals. Okay. Yeah. See, it's, it's literally three minutes work. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. I'm glad we finally got to a, came to a decision. I'm glad you finally told me the truth. I did tell you the truth. It was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was fine. <laughs> I know. That's I how that. Nikki says it is fine. I said that to you yesterday. And then I, said I find it was all fine. my freaking clothes sitting out in the yard. No, I, I said yesterday. Nikki's my daughter, by the way, not my wife. <laughs> Wait, wait, did she did you buy her clothes and she said it's fine and then she threw them out? No, there was something happened and she has fine and it went out and she was sort of like all the washing oh, <laughs> off right. the line on the ground. Oh. It was during her 16-year-old tantrums. I still kind of do tantrums like that sometimes. Oh no, I've never seen this. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Poor Jared. Oh, I, I've Jared. And you wondered why Jared waited nine years. What? He was just seeing how bad it could get. <laughs> like he, he got the wrath and he didn't know how bad that wrath was going to get. At least you haven't fed him mushrooms yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do we have an update on what's going on with that? By no. the way, there's this whole scandal in Australia, this lady, like, Killer. Poisoned a whole heap of people with well, mushrooms. Well, we don't know if she did it on purpose or not, but she gave it's it. It's very sus. It's it was her like her ex, ex in mother in law, and I think the priest who married her, no, and she invited her husband, her ex husband, who didn't turn up. Yeah. But her two kids that were there didn't get poisoned, and mm. she didn't get poisoned, but everybody else that was there got poisoned. They died from eating death cat I mushrooms. I think there's still one, I think the priest is still half alive, I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's a whole big, it's, it's about as exciting as the news gets in Australia. <laughs> it, it, and it happened in a country town, so it was fully... No, it is pretty. It's a big thing. So that's, uh, that's what's going on down there. death caps all around the world or is it an Australia thing? I know, it, I know they're deadly because I know when um, we were young picking mushroom, we were never allowed to eat them with our parents checked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the Australian news, which I'm sure you all tuned in for to listen to what's going on in the Australian news. <laughs> well, it would have been in America. They wouldn't want to show anything bad in America, so they'd find somewhere else in the world to show it bad. What? Well, I've noticed on any of the news reports, there's always good news in America on their own, but they did give, show the bad news of every other country really? in the world. I haven't really paid much attention to American news. You know what I'm excited for in America in a few weeks? So watching the ads. Remember, we were watching the ads last year. No, just if you watch the news, <laughs> the ads are in the news, <laughs> and then there's this disclaimer that if you do this, you will definitely die, and your, 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 your children that you haven't had yet will die <laughs> All like the medication ads. Yes. <laughs> Side effects may include. Include, yeah, loss of head. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's yeah, really... I remember last year when we were watching... What it, I got stuck watching some tiny house show or something. And then, and oh, I, got, and then I got stuck watching ads. And I, it was just a... I got stuck on a loop. A loop, like yeah. you do. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes, I am fun. looking... Very much looking forward to going to the places we've never been. Which is one. No, Mexico. Oh, in Mexico and, and Eatonton. Eatonton. We're well, yep. looking forward to that. And looking forward to um, Austin for the barbecue. Mm -hmm. And did we book into the to no, Joe we Rogan's I to, club? No, I need to decide which one we're going to go All see because right. there's a few. Oh, that's right. We're going to check that out, weren't we? Yeah, I was going to so check out because there's two different We're missing communities. out who would really like I to know, see. I really wanted to see Tony Hinchcliffe, so but he... He's only, he only does it on Mondays, and we're not there for there, on yeah. Monday, which is a bit unfortunate. But even if we were, they're sold out. But I really yeah. wanted to see a Tony Hinchcliffe because he's, oh he's so good at roasting. He's like the king of roasting. <laughs> yes. So good. <laughs> I love it. And we, I think we, we've proofed ourselves for LA. We're going to stay up in the hills, so I think that's far enough away not to die. I'm excited for that. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's a nice place. It looks nice. Um, I get to flex and be like, I'm in the Hollywood Hills. In the hills. <laughs> oh, my God. Be fancy. Flancy. In the hills. And I don't know, I do, I'm, I'm, the stuff I'm seeing in New York is not so much scary. It's more, it's all the homeless Mexicans that have come across. So it's not like I'm not seeing the scary stuff that you're seeing in Philadelphia now. Right. It's more just lots of people just sleeping on the street any, who have nowhere, nowhere to, to go, go nowhere yeah. to live. Right, okay. But I don't know if that, who knows if it's propaganda. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out in a few weeks. But we're doing, a, uh, we're doing, definitely going to do a hamburger crawl in New York. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to do every day, three, three hamburgers. All right. New Can York. we do a pizza crawl as well? 
Oh, we already know where you're going to go for that. No, I want to. Your boyfriends. You're only going to go to Ray's. Shut up. So if you're listening, the owner tried to hook you up with his son. He did. He was so excited when you turned back the next day. And then you had to tell me the truth that that you snuck in there at three o'clock in the morning. I woke up with a craving for pizza. And and beer. Yeah. It was like three in the morning. Did you have a duff light? Bud. A bud light? Sorry, not a duff. No, I would never drink light. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. (laughs) I mean, I had a Budweiser, but I didn't have a light. <laughs> did I or did I have a corona? I can't remember now. I know, I just woke up and I had a craving for pizza and I, we'd already, I'd been to that pizza place before and they're 24-7, so, and it was around, the, we were like just off, around the corner from them. So I just went out to get pizza. Like, I know, and if something had happened to you, I'm the one who has to face Gail and yeah, Jared. I know, but I, nothing But you don't happened. care because you wouldn't be here anymore. But nothing happened and I knew nothing would. I knew, I was, I knew. They're going to be queuing up now. They're going to look for where we're staying and <laughs> no, all the psychos no, and all banned. the people traffickers. I've been banned from leaving uh, without Peter. It makes you look like a child. You will be child trafficked. <laughs> I go, what's this four year old doing out at night? Actually, I haven't been asked for ID in a little while. The last few times I've asked for alcohol, they've stopped asking me for ID. Do I look old now? Like, you got a na- you got a ring on it now. Yeah, maybe that's why. It could be the ring. Oh, maybe. And because it's winter, you'd covered up all your tattoos, so they're not... Oh, no, that would be... That would be, make... No. No, that, that would be a reason for them no, not to ask. A bit baggy under the eyes. Thanks. <laughs> you asked. No, it's because I need to get Botox. You do not need Botox. I need Botox. No. Nope. Yep. No. Nope. Yep. No. Nope. Yep. And can you please ring her up and tell her not to get Botox? <laughs> Botox. And you've missed a bit of cleaning. The, just round behind the fridge, you've missed it. What? Well, when I rang up Anne the other day... <laughs> I can hear my voice in the background and she said it's a Friday thing. She listens, she does the vacuuming and cleaning of the house and puts our podcast on. That is very cute. It is very funny and cute. Very cute. Um, How was your week? My week was good again. I'm stuck to my... It's working really well so far. We'll yeah. see what happens when we back, back, me- back it, from I America, feel like America in, but... Your mental state seems to be a lot better. Well, I'm not feeling guilty not doing anything now because, I don't know, the, the, the social media that I think I was, I would get into a rabbit hole as well and it sort of like one led to another. Yeah. And that was costing me a bit of time. I don't know, I just, when I get on the computer now, I'm in full go mode. Whereas because I was always on the computer, you would, you would think, it was, yeah, I was looking for an excuse not, not to. to work. Yeah, whereas now it's just like, I'm here to work and once I get this done, I don't have to do it anymore. So. And if I do, like like last night, I actually edited a fair bit, last, I think it was last night, yeah, I edited a whole blog and Evelyn's picture and I nearly edited another one, but I was in the mood. Yeah. I, I was, I, that, there's a really cool, what are you doing? Just checking the red light. Oh. Um... Anyone who likes Skrillex, I found, I'll put a link in description. I've got to remember, you better write down. I There's, I found, stumbled across something in London. There's a tiny little record shop that has a, right in the front window, has a couple of decks and some speakers. And people just walk in there willy-nilly and then they stick their USB in there and start DJing. Mm-hmm. And Skrillex was with somebody, you know, writing some stuff and they wanted to try it live. So they just wandered down there. I couldn't believe it wasn't that big a crowd. He played a one-hour set with all these amazing other DJs. Well, I guess like, people wouldn't have known about they it. They wouldn't have known, but, yeah. yeah. But you all still would have thought some of the people would have, within an hour, oh, it was an hour and a half, I think, mm-hmm. they would have gotten the phone and said, hey, Skrulix is playing down here and you can stand next to him. Or maybe they didn't want to tell people because they didn't want to lose, lose the, the vibe. Inter- yeah. Anyway, the, I really enjoyed that. So I end up editing while it was on, but I kept on flicking over to watch it to see... Was this Skrillex was one of the other guys on the decks? Because they were all swapping. Right. Um, and then last night I jumped back onto that same channel. It's only a small channel, so I'm really liking promoting them. And I just watched one, I think it had five likes to it. And it just played in the background, I was editing, and it, it was just, I don't know, I really yeah. enjoyed it. Because it's fresh. I think that's, yeah. it was so fresh. The, yeah. And the stuff I'm hearing on is so fresh and different. You know what I feel about music today. Yeah, you today. don't like listening to the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. 
But in the end of the show, I didn't want to go to bed because I was enjoying the music, so I was enjoying... I, I love editing when... You've I've got, got good music going, yeah. And I got lost. I couldn't find music for a long time. Yeah, I remember you were complaining to me about that as well. But the other thing is, with the editing I, I mentioned to you today, I'm... I edited a picture and then I turned 90% of the editing off and liked it better. Mm. And I think there's a different time for different edit levels. And mm. I think the pictures I'm doing with certain looks, the editing wrecks that look. And if I look at all my favourite photographers, they didn't edit. Mm. Like the, the, the magazines might edit a bit, but they didn't edit. I fully agree that like, yeah, certain certain times like call for certain things like the ones that you did a shave for the blog that's coming up i agree they didn't need a lot of editing they, yeah, they had very little Anne's blog i did had very little editing I, for some reason i feel like if it's shot with natural light it doesn't need much but for some reason flash for me feels like it needs a bit more I yeah i'm wondering if i haven't got the lighting right and i'm cheating i'm in the back of my head going oh i can fix that little bit with flash i don't for me personally i think it's more because like or it could be because it's a shallower depth of field. Oh, no, no five, I think six. it's just like the vibe. I think could it's just be. like the vibe that natural light gives it. It is like such a natural kind of look. Well, people like it, Tanya yeah. really never liked shooting much with flash. She always liked the natural light. Yeah. But I used to edit, I still edit hers quite heavy though. Mm. Did you turn the sound record not. on? Sorry? The sound record? I'm gonna I check. don't know. I'm checking. Sorry, I'm getting paranoid. You did turn it on. Why I did turn so it on. I'm so paranoid. No, but with, with that, I don't know, it's, it's this transition thing. It's like anything. One day you're like listening to this music, next day you listen to this music. Yeah. Or and you're a Gemini you've... as well. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't it's... have choice that when my mother <laughs> spat me out. I didn't have a choice when my dad <laughs> decided to root her. I had no choice in this at all. And now you put me down because I happen to be born. <laughs> It's, I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying that it's very Gemini of you to kind of flip between things like Aren't that. you a Gemini rising? I am a Gemini rising. That's S like how I come across to people. It's like a Gemini. A people person. A people person. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can keep, t what was something, ha I know I shouldn't do this, but um, Beck's obviously forgotten, I've forgotten Got completely. Be. There we go. What does it say? I'm. I'm a very observant person, so if you think I didn't notice, I did. I just decided to keep quiet and avoid drama. Is that a Gemini? I no. guess so. I don't know. I just I actually saved it there because I didn't know if that wasn't me or not. No, but I don't correct. like drama until don't people that force me. Too much because there might oh, be yes, stuff that YouTube be. won't like. I don't like drama until people force me to make phone calls. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 It's all right. It turned out sort of good anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. What? Now something happened that was so inappropriate. What? Oh. I oh can't my, remember, but I it was can so inappropriate. Remember, we had a client last week. Oh. <laughs> the client is a therapist for the bedroom. You can say sex therapist. <laughs> sex isn't a dirty word. No, it's not. We had a sex. Our client was a sex therapist. I worked with her a couple of times before. Yeah. And she needed some photos for her website to just like. She had a new office. Website. Yeah, a new office. So she just wanted it for her website to show her. And, and the she's office changed and... a bit of yeah. how she therapies. Yeah, so her therapies she... changed. So she wanted just some photos to put on her website of her in her office. So we've gone to the office to do the shoot. And all I can think of the entire time we're walking into the sex therapist is I'm walking in with Peter and I'm like, please, I really yeah. hope no one's around. <laughs> I hope like, <laughs> Beck and I walk into a sex therapist. <laughs> Lucky she had a back entrance. <laughs> That Although a bit people weird. might have. Why are we talking about back entries and sex therapy at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, thankfully she did have a way around the back that we could. Yeah, but oh my god, I was. Like, I never even thought about it at the time until we got back I, to the studio, and I, and I said this to Peter. I thought, and Peter oh, 
It would be even funnier if we're coming out and there's somebody who knew, recognised us walking out. Can you out. imagine? I would die. Or well, like, someone was one of her clients who walked up the stairs as we are walking out. That would be even funnier. I would go into the witness protection program. <laughs> like, I would actually die. <laughs> I should have got one of those little, like, glasses with the, the nose and the moustache while we were walking in or something. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? But you did enjoy looking at the artwork in the place. Yeah, it was I interesting. I watched you looking at the full... <laughs> I was interested. Medically cut apart yes, anatomy was, pictures. I was interested in it. It was interesting. Yes. It was cool. But yes, it was very... And I'm, but I'm really glad that I didn't because I was thinking at the time, but I've worked with you long enough to know what you're like and I didn't say anything at the time because <laughs> I know what you're like <laughs> and you would have made the situation. Never. Like, you would I would have never have done that. <laughs> I was like, get quiet and hope no one sees you. I would have just got on there. Hey, who wants to have a meet up no, with Beck and I? Meet us at this alley out. <laughs> Make sure you have your iPhones on film as we come down the door. Oh, my God. No. So, so I think it was a side of the bottom of the steps, wasn't it? I think so. But I'm glad I didn't say anything. And I'm glad we, I waited until we got back to the studio for me to say something. And Yeah. And then you were saying you were like, you honestly didn't think of it. But I only thought I of... I didn't. You know I would make a, such a... Yeah, I know. And that's why I'm really glad that you did it. I didn't. But I've, because, you know, I've had six or seven clients. Mm. Like very big clients within the sex industry for yeah. different reasons. Like one of them is a, a shop, a very, very prestigious shop. Um, and, yeah, they're all after really classy things, high-end stuff. So I know that she, I, yeah, like, and, and it's work and, like, I, under, I completely understand that it's work and stuff. It was just my stupid oh, brain no, no, went I'm to. Not, no, I'm <laughs> not saying that. Oh, because, because for well, you, see, you would just... The other time, any of the times, like, the clients either come into the studio. Yeah. Um, but other, well, you even came to one, I think it was your first day, wasn't it? Uh, it was my first week. Your first week. Yes. Well, nobody would have known no. where, where we're going for there. It was just yeah. a house. Yes. But yeah, but now books are closed, you don't have, well, oh. as I said, the, the clients that, and she's lovely. She's lovely. It doesn't matter, yeah. She's a pre-existing client, client and it was just yeah. a quick little shoot and so that was, but aside from that, yeah, books are closed. But we knew that that was just going to be an, a really easy. A really easy shoot. It's so easy to work with. It's like she didn't even want retouching. I did yeah. a, the very quick retouch. But she asked for like one photo to be changed to a different colour, like a different yeah. hue. And yeah. I was like, okay, even I could do that. <laughs> But, yes, it was a bit funny. <laughs> well, you talked me into a sex pill. This is why we need therapy now. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need therapy, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell Jared? I, don't, I can't remember. You haven't told Jared that think Peter took you into a sex therapist. <laughs> That's going to be quite funny. Can we can we get him back for a podcast and we can we do this live? I don't think I did tell him. He, yeah, I, sometimes I have to tell him. It's like sometimes I get home from work and I'm like, how was your day? And he'll be like, oh, yeah, all right, such and such was annoying. Or like I just did all this coding and then such and such wanted it all changed and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. So how was your day? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I took my boss into a sex pool and we went to a sex fair. <laughs> like some of the things I come home and say after certain days, and he's just like, you have a very interesting job. Well, it's not as interesting anymore because we cut out a lot yeah. of our clients. Well, we still have lots of fun. Still some interesting well, I still times. Some, oh, yeah, still have some fun times. <laughs> some very into that I, yeah, some interesting shoots that I don't, I'm, I'm trying to block out from my brain, actually. Sometimes we I see. We haven't had any, oh, sorry, yeah. Sometimes I, I see. I forgot some... about the Easter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> we won't even go there. <laughs> let's that was not. like. Uh, let's not. Yes. Let's not. Mm. Yes. Anyways. Yes, if it gets, <laughs> the thing is, if it gets, like, mm, no. Hey, Beck, can you do this? <laughs> well, there was, there was a, well, recently, one that we can actually, but it's on Inspire, but, which was also you, well, actually, yeah, you to blame with your crazy messed up ideas of the Willy oh, Cam. Girl. You know, Cam, the Willy they, Cam. Oh, Willy Cam, that's right. The guy with camera shoots. Yeah, the on, guy with camera, yeah. Yeah, so it's on Inspire and it's a shoot that Peter did of, Peter's version of a guy with camera, and, which involves the, the a girl shooting with a, her dick, meaning like this giant big black dildo that yeah, we, we have attached out the back. one to a mamiya. 
<laughs> I can't, have, we haven't put that on. It's our, on Inspire. No, but it's not on our blog, is it? No, it's not yet. All right, so we, it'll be on my blog yeah. next week. All right, cool. So we'll I'll put, 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 yeah. So I'll put a link to that on, on there. It's soon. more my... Peter's messed up stuff. My messed up stuff, which is a style of lighting and a style of feel that I love, which I've picked off from Helmut Newton, but he used to do it with natural light, whereas I tend to use flash to get my look. Mm. But it's also that completely wrong, but the silhouettes, the shape, it's not so, it's more about, it's a visual. Yeah. And, it's like, and then you can go wherever you like with it. It's not, I'm not selling the story. They can pick whatever story they want. Even watching you set up for when you're doing your My Stuff stuff, you like, you might only take like five, 10 frames, but it will take you like an hour to an hour and a half to set up because you're so particular with how you want the shadows and everything. I think I got that from Helmut Newton. You take so long, but then you only might take like 10 frames and you're like, okay, I've got the shot, but it's taken you so long to like get the everything. There's a really cool series on um, YouTube. It's hard to find because it's rated R. So you can't just type in Helmut Newton. Look, if I can find one of them, Helmut Newton, um, June Newton bought Helmut Newton a video camera. He played with it once, he hated it. So June Newton decided to just film everyday stuff. So Helmut Newton having breakfast, him on the phone to people, him <laughs> doing interviews with models to see whose boobs looked right for this shot. Interesting. It was really funny because all the work he does, there was a, a model there and it was sort of like, I really need to see your boobs to know if you're going to suit because I'm looking for a certain shape and size. Yeah. And he was too shy to ask. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, like, he, you no, don't want to sound other, like... All the other girls, because he had, the other girls had pictures of their boobs, she oh, didn't. Oh, okay, right. And it was a calling to come and he was too shy to say, hey, can I see them? <laughs> so he didn't end up using her. And the girl, it's a very famous picture. It's the picture he did, I think it's got the Marlboro man, um, billboard and she's on like a balcony having a cigarette topless it's a really cool picture oh, but it, while he's filming he was I saying I, oh, I still didn't get the boobs i wanted for the and he was so fussy about it. but on one of the other shoots he was doing he was fussy where the fruit bowl was and where the fruit was sitting in the fruit bowl and he was no no can someone move it that way can That's you move a banana way. to the back it's looking too phallic-y can you and he's doing that sounds like a you thing i know i, I think i got it from like him. when you were doing like i remember when you were doing the the cam girl photo and you were so particular about where on the like how the legs of oh, the, the tripod. Oh, the legs of tripod. Yeah, like, so no, upsetting me. I don't like. The, and then you would tilt them just slightly. Like no, it's still. I need them to be like. And then yeah. separate them off the feet. I and know, then. I was like, but see, did you notice whenever I'm doing that stuff, it's not about eyes. Yeah. No, it's about. It's about the silhouette, the shape. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's very much. And I think I got this from Helmut Newton. So mm. seriously, he's still a massive. It's still one of my. It'd still be my. F f him and um, Peter Lindbergh mm. would still be my top two favourites. Like, there's lots of other pe photographers I love, like Irving Penn, and there's hundreds of other photographers who are amazing and I really, really like in the fashion industry and that industry. But for some reason, those two have always been like your main two the main two there's yeah. something but it's completely different but that's i feel like that's kind of also like with your work like you've got your stuff that is all about eyes and that and that's more like what peter Lindbergh and would do and then my, your stuff my is more art like, which yeah. is more about shape and yeah. so i can feel like yeah those those two are completely different but you've got two sides too because you're a gemini see oh, so we're gemini pick on us poor I'm people i'm not picking on you i'm just saying we're the best I'm people in the world you're just upset because your birthday is so close to Christmas. People don't give you as good a birthday present. No, yeah, they do. If, no, once you get to the middle of the year, it's such a... And see, with me, when I was a kid, mm. you'd have Christmas, you'd have Easter, then my birthday. So it's nice timing. Yeah, I know. Everybody else, like my brother, I think it's February, um, my sister's, I'm... I think, November. So then I like, each... Yeah, I'm 19 days after Christmas. There you go. So, so I uh, get like this one, like one time like of the Len, year where I get like heaps of well, things. Well, quite often Len will get a joint present. I sometimes get, Jared does that for me sometimes as well. But it means I get something bigger. Oh yeah, and Len normally gets something enormous. Yeah. So it's not so too it's like, bad. It's more than double two presents. If he was a gem, if he was born in June, mm. the value of his present would be less. Yeah. But because it's 
closer, he tends to get... Yeah, I tend to get bigger things as well, which is all right. It's all right. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm a jealous, I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm a boss bitch. A what? Boss bitch. A boss bitch. A Capricorns people person. A people person. <laughs> Capricorns are named for being like boss bitches. Boss bitches. Yeah. I had a bit of fun today. I've been really frustrated because we had com the odd commercial show. Well, there's only a couple of clients. We even, both the clients know that our books are closed, yeah, but, but we, just... we enjoy working with you and it's easy. And it's easy. And my house, one Hasselblad did something weird. Mm. Like if I clicked on the computer, it took a photo, like it tethered. If I clicked on the camera, it didn't tether. It was also... And then the other one started unaligning the picture. So it was doing that when we were shooting with Lottie. It was unaligning yeah, the Yeah, pictures. I know. So yeah. it's really scaring Concerning. me that they're both dying. Mm. And someone sent me a link to one for sale. But I've got that in the back of my head and think, well, if the wire, buy the one for sale, I know there's issues with the sensor. Who says yeah, they're like, sen that sensor's not going to die? Like thousands, like well, over like $12,000 10, yeah. $12, and then it dies. Like So with... Um, it's really funny. When I was away with Matt, Matt convinced me, like all the talking I did with Matt, convinced me I don't need any more camera gear and I come back and bought four lenses. You didn't know because you weren't here. I don't care. You can buy them. Even though, no, I know. But what I mean is there was uh, four different lenses I was talking with with Matt. And mm. I convinced myself after talking with Matt why I didn't need these lenses. And then you bought them anyways. And then I bought them all anyways. <laughs> but... As I said in a, another Inspire coming up, I'm not going to sell any of them because every single one of them will have a use. They won't live in the bag, mm. but when I've got that shoot coming up, that yeah, lens will be lens. perfect. Yeah. But one of the lenses I got was for the SL, the 75, mm -hmm. and because my favourite lens on the Hasselblad's the 100, the second favourite's the 80, the 100 turns out to be about 78, so it's practically 75. So today's shoot was pretty much, I've worked out that F8 on medium format's about F6.3 on SLR for the same fallout, if that makes sense. So the, the depth of field fallout, not so much the close, more the bit further away where it falls out. And you'll see, if anyone sees on Spire, they'll see what I'm talking about. And I spent this morning doing that while Beck was getting ready. Then I picked one of my favorite pictures from like 12, 13 years ago and tried to copy the lighting and then shot it with the Hasselblad and shot it with the Leica. And then I'm going to retouch both in Lightroom, not focus, but focus as a cheat that I can use. Right. But I think I am, I'm actually starting to go even when we were tethered today, I was going, I want something that this doesn't have now. Mm. Whereas normally I'm going, I want Hasselblad's clarity or I want that shadow fill because I want that sort of effect. I was looking for my individual colour sliders after the, I put the green channel. And you can't oh. do that in Hasselblad. You don't get the individual colour sliders. <laughs> and that made a massive difference. Interesting. So I mightn't... I know I love it, but I don't think I'll, I'll wait till I'll wait till I do the tutorials. I'll okay. sit down. And you'll literally that'll be tomorrow. Like, okay. Tomorrow, all day tomorrow, I'll be putting it together. I'll be looking myself. And if tomorrow I say I can get my Hasselblad look mm -hmm. out of the Leica, I'm not going to Bye. bother, which is really sad. So sad. So I spoke to Hans. Like I said, Hans was the. Oh, he's been with Hasselblad forever, like mm. 25 years or something, and they kicked him out when he turned 65. He wasn't ready. Mm. He wanted, Although he said he's so glad it happened now, but I r rang up and had a long talk with him, and it was quite funny that even he said, it's just so sad, there's this icon. It's like if Porsche yeah. or Ferrari got bought by China. And then all of a sudden they just went downhill. And they just went, That's... and now they're not creating. I they want to use yeah. pictures, like showing the pictures from the moon, and. Most of their social media are pictures except for their latest cameras. Yeah. They're all off the H series. Okay, so, yeah. and the, so it's like why, so if you're only going to post photos of the H series, you're going to post stuff of how good it was, why, why would you discontinue that? Like still yeah. bring out your new stuff, but don't discontinue the old stuff. Like what are you doing? That makes no sense. But then you're well, not going to show any, like, I don't know, that makes no sense. Yeah, I, I don't get, I, 
there's lots of things I don't get. But it, like it was said to me, when you were with me in Europe last year, when we were at a meeting with Hasselblad, and that was before I spat the dummy and resigned, I said to them, like, who who was, you know, what photographers you have developing a new camera? What I, uh, said, no, some marketing. marketing. Yeah, the marketing team. Not photographers, the marketing team. What, how we can market the camera different to other cameras. Yeah. So Not, what, yeah. What's actually going to appeal to the people that you're trying to market to? I still really, I would love a camera company to ask my opinion on the perfect Ooh. camera for real photographers. Yeah. And then make one. I always find it, I find it funny some workshop when, work, I find it funny some workshops when you are get a, doing the zebraing the, the highlight alerty thingy, and then focus there's like peaking, focus I mean. peaking, and there are cameras that can't do the zebraing or the focus peaking, or the highlight alert, or the highlight or the, alert, and all they, black and white in the viewfinder. And, and they see what you can do, and they get, well, why doesn't my camera do that? And you're like, well, jump up and down and scream at camera companies to bring this in because this is going to make our lives so much easier. Why does no one ask to photographers what do you want in a camera that's going to make it easier? But you've been look, pushing that harder and harder recently. I know, but I, I look, I do want no, to say... No, it's good, you should. When I first got employed by the fishing magazine, a lot of my work I was doing before that I was doing in Aperture Priority. Mm -hmm. And once the pressure of, like, this is my living now, I need a cover. I can't over... And I'm shooting film back then, it's really came to me now. I've got to be in full control. I need to be on manual. Yeah. And I just learned, and at first it was like, oh, the cloud's moving. This is a pain in the ass. And all of a sudden it just, this is not that hard Second because when the time. cloud is over, it's just setting. Yeah. When the full sun, it's just setting. I don't have to think. It's just on that day. And I remember the frustration I had on the first catwalk show I did doing the transition from using aperture priority to using fully manual. And then I saw my photos at the end of the thing going, I don't have to do anything. Whereas normally I'd have to turn this one up a bit, this one down yeah. a bit, this one up a bit. And I didn't have to do everything or everything might have been a third of a stop under or over and I'd pull everything mm. down. And when I pick up now, I've got a Leica M3, which doesn't even have a battery. What do you mean? The Leica M3 doesn't even have a battery. How does it work? It's all mechanical. But how does There's it get power? It's no, nothing's electrical. Everything's mechanical. Oh. So when you cock it, it pulls the spring for the shutter. So every so oh. there's no light meter. There's no nothing. Everything. Oh, is it a film camera? Yes, a film camera. Sorry, oh. before you were born. <laughs> No, because I remember when you gave me that. The one that you gave me that I forgot how to use. I was the same thing. I was like, so where does the battery go? And you're like, there's no battery. And I'm like. No, there's a battery in your one. Is sad. Yeah. But I put a new battery in it, so it doesn't Now matter. I'm confused because that's a film camera. Yeah, that's f yeah but that's, so got, a light meter, that's got a light meter in it. So it needs the battery to use the light meter. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. When I pick that up, I just say, I want a digital version of this. Mm. Like, I, I would still want, the certain helpers I want, like focus peaking, I still want overexposure warnings. I don't need a light meter, just give me an overexposure warning. And if you gave me something like scopes, it would be amazing. And even better if they even had another button that I could bring up, um, vector, uh, to the colour uh, vectors, I think it is. It just basically, yeah, I know it means nothing to you, <laughs> but it just basically means that if your face is green, you're correctly exposed. My face is great. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but what I mean is it has Sorry, a, for those it has a colour a band for it's every great. exposure level, right? right? So red means overexposed, purple means underexposed. So all you do is just press on a minute. You see, oh, the face is green. I've got her face perfect. It's like a click. It's green. It's like a real... But the rest of it, it's like I can decide on what I want my shutter, what I want everything on... I don't know, I, I'm certain people would love a fully manual camera, but with the AIDS, not the disease. <laughs> you looked at me. With the AIDS for people who hadn't been shooting for a long time, 
to be able to just go, if it's flashing, it means I'm overexposing. I can't see focus properly, let's turn peaking on. Oh, there's my mm. focus. And just those simple little things that give someone a backup yeah. and then oh. have the ability to little run. Little helpers. Sorry? Little helpers. Little helpers. Then have the ability to just in your viewfinder or in your back screen to set the look to what you want to do. So you could build a LUT in Lightroom or Photoshop, import that LUT so you can say, this is the look I'm going to apply to my photo. So this is how I want to see it in. So you can have a, a saturated colour LUT, you can have a desaturated, you can have your teal and orange. You can have your Barcelona look. They are pretty, I don't know what she did, they are. There is definitely, so there's not much black in it, so she definitely milked out the blacks. I love those photos. I think I've still got a few more that I'm going to post as well. You should. Yeah, I love and those. And can I link, can we link, can, yeah, we can link one, can't we? Yeah, I can link you to the photo. Yeah, right, really... you know, we'll put a link in because even I, uh, so like there's a filmic, like this, it feels like old film, but also mm. sort of feels a bit cinematography. Yeah, no, she and, she and for someone really... who didn't show you a single shot, yeah, I was they just... could have been. She could have, might have been not showing you shots was, because she hated them. She was a really great photographer to work with as well, Julia. And she, we shot in Barcelona. She just contacted me, just through Instagram, and I happened to see her request. Like I, I, I get so happened. many. Well, I get so many requests. Like I, on it, like so many get lost. It's I like, know you're so famous. No, but even you can't like, walk the streets anywhere. Shut up. <laughs> even like the other day when Lottie was in here and she was like, "Oh, my friend said she messaged you and she'd love to shoot," and you never replied to her. And we were like, "What do you mean?" And we were like, "We've never seen her before." And we're like, "Oh, it's probably like buried. Like, it's hard." Anyway, seriously, if you, for anybody who really, and Bex to hate me now. If you really want us to see something, just send us an email. Our email's on every one of our sites. We're not going to go into requests in... I have, well, I've handed Insta I go, over to Beth And I go now. in there, but then I lose track of where... Well, I, and there's all this spam that, oh, we'll exactly. retouch so, service, oh, we'll get you to number one on Google. That's what I mean. Like, I just get lost. And anyways, I saw her and she mentioned that she wanted to shoot and I was like, actually, I've got to day free while I'm in Barcelona like let's do it and she was so great to shoot with she was very much like you like we started shooting and she's like that pretend it's a video like just don't stop moving I don't want click pose just this is a video okay and I was like oh, oh and she lets so... you do the look away too and she let me do look away um, but yeah she was just it was so similar to shooting with you in that regard but then like she's looking at the photos like oh my god these are great these are great these are awesome all right let's do some more and like didn't show me any, which I was a bit like, okay, all right, that's fine. Normally like, photographers don't show you if it's their crap. Let's do some more because I really have nothing. But she was going about how happy she was with it, and then I was kind that's of really like, weird. Yes. But then I was like, no, it's fine. Like I'm happy to just keep shooting. But I did kind of want to see, but I don't know. Like, but then, even being like even Peter Lindbergh would stop and show the back of the camera to the model. But sometimes, like sometimes I'll be on a shoot and the photographer will be like, "Wow, this is awesome," and then and show, show me, you and, and I'm like, like, "That Ugh. is disgusting." So <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone said to me the other day, "Can you do a video?" on you getting ugly pictures off beauty, like makeup. Yeah. And show how you could get, sorry, that's like the easiest thing in the world. So easy. I had that happen on stage once. I was, yeah. I was doing a thing for Hasselblad and it was a really big night. I was in New Zealand. I think it was about 500 people there. So there's a big screen up. We're doing a live shoot on stage and someone asked, we had a question. Someone said, it's easy. You got Natasha, you can't take a bad picture of her. I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and Natasha goes, no, you can't. Uh, I'll take this challenge on. So I just sit there with a the camera and don't do anything. <laughs> and she goes, what? And I click as soon as she opens her mouth. She looks up and sees the Christian, what? And just click another picture. So instead of waiting for the best picture, you click on the worst picture. It's so easy it's so to do. Easy. Or you can just like make them uncomfortable. Just start talking oh, yeah. about awkward things. Yeah, like, like sex therapy and <laughs> sex pools and everything else you make me do. Be <laughs> like it'd be. No, I agree it's, with it's you. It's easy to I get. I need to top up something. Okay. You keep talking. It is. It's easy to get. It's easy to get a bad photo. It's. In fact, it, to me, it's easier. It's so mm. much easier. I can take a bad photo so easy. Yeah. 
You can, I can take, like, I can take a bad photo of myself so easy, but trying to, like, but also I'm really critical, but, like, trying to get a good photo of, that I, trying to sell, I can't selfie anymore. I don't know what's happened to me. Also, it's like, Is it my fault? Do you I think I've done know. something to you? I don't know. Me, like, me and Jared trying to take our engagement photo. The poor boy, you should see my camera roll. Yeah, but There's, like, a whole page. Are you just trying to do look-away <laughs> shots? Or, no, oh. I tried to do some looking at the camera. Yeah, but I tried so to do no, some you looking don't, at but him. But you don't do looking at camera like, selfies. I know, but I tried to do some looking at him. I tried to do some smart. But, like, we did, like, the first Well, he batch. wasn't MGK, so I understand how you couldn't do looking at him. We tried Couldn't to you just put, put a blonde wig on him and no. pretend he was MGK? No. But we, we did <laughs> but like... could have been Porter Robinson or who else? You? Well, no, Porter Robinson's not blonde anymore, no. actually. He grew his hair out back to his natural oh, look, And he's well, married. MGK's still not married. I'm not married either. <laughs> oh, my God. Ollie Sykes is married. I was going to say, what about Ollie? Ollie Sykes is married. That doesn't stop most women. Normally women chase them, what, taken ones the hardest. I'm, I'm happy with what I I'm happy. <laughs> I'm oh, sure. Sorry, keep this, sorry, interrupting. Interrupting. Your... To make me sound like a floozy, thank you. I was joking anyways. But no, the first batch I like, I don't, we took some and then I looked back and I don't know, because I was trying to show off the ring, but because of my name, I don't know, it looked like I was fondling his chin and I was like, why were you doing that? I don't know. I just put my hand. I didn't think it would. I didn't realize it was. I don't know. It looked like I was like fondling. You done one on the shaft. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like... engaged. Well, if you just didn't have the end bit in the so you could just do a. <laughs> hey, it would be unique. That could make a good the TikTok. Black, the black member. Oh, the black member. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know, we do have the biggest black member. I mentioned it before. You didn't. Oh yeah, little... it's on a stu- we stuck it on a Mamiya. You, yeah, if you see my blog soon, you'll see oh it on there. Um, but no, it was when the, so and then it's every little thing, and then I was like, no, we have to do more, and then. My finger looked a bit like weird and crooked, and then we took some more, and then my face, like my nose, was a bit squished. And I was like, "Why am I being so?" Why is your nose squished? I don't know. My nose was squished into him, and although I do know, yeah, oh, you're snugging in the yeah, uh, yeah. I was just looking at all these things, and I'm like, I'm normally not this critical. It's like, is this is this Peter's like imparting himself into my brain, and I'm being super critical no, of but everything? I, it wasn't long ago. It was so you know. How I am, sorry, gas, chicken, <laughs> chicken rolls. Chicken rolls always give me indigestion. Really? Yeah. Like, okay. yeah. We won't have um, them next week. No, but I like them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like I, as I get older, that my tolerance for hot sauce is fine in my mouth, but my stomach doesn't oh, quite doesn't agree. Like or that Normally at two in the morning it says that you shouldn't have had that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep you awake for an hour. For Australians, and now we're talking about Woolies roast chicken, white bread rolls. Yeah, with either well, I had a bit of um, hot fun. sauce on. Yeah, top I put I put hot, I put mayo and you hot put, sauce and gravy. And your gravy, I did. And I used a bit mayo. of the stuffing. I fully load mine anyway. New loaded chicken. They're so good. We yeah. can't beat a Woolies roast chicken on a bread roll. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's so good. Anyway, sorry, continue. Um, I'm so fanatical about eyes because it's like the challenge. Yeah. I can easily get a beautiful shot with a model not looking straight at the camera, but it's so much harder to get that killer yeah. as you'll see and then I was looking at some really famous photographers mm. and the amount of look away shots they had yeah. and I'm thinking am I just putting too much hard work but I still yeah, I know, so, but... so some of your pictures even people commented when we did the thing on the muse they actually got to see what I meant about eyes yeah and I think I think as much as it's so it fails on some models where I just can't get them, but eventually it was one model I really struggled. Mm. I learned a trick with her and it got better and I retouched one last night and the eyes on that one, beautiful. <laughs> well, good. Oh, you don't like them. Okay. You people person. I'm not mentioning oh. her name. Oh, yeah, no. Her eyes were really yeah, pretty on that. So it's that thing where I just got to work harder. And when I look back at my old work, I do a whole shoot for one picture. Hmm. The amount of times it entire two, three hours and only got one I picture, picture. Yeah. because it was that eye shot and I'm chasing. Yes. And we've got a, a model, I'm not going to say what country, but giving us a bit of a hard time. But if you want like a million photos, no, there's, the, it just used the very best. 
Which I, I remember when I first started working with you, that was like a bit of a hard pill to swallow at first because other photographers, like the one I worked with in Barcelona. give you 20 or 30. Yeah, she sent me like so many photos and like that's awesome. But then even I'm fussy with which ones I post, but like thank you for giving me so much to choose from that you have like, well, I, don't, I don't even think she's heavily retouched. I think it's just a bit of a... Do you like, like a filter over it? Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. I'm happy with that. No, it's beautiful. It's I actually really like her filter. She might have cleaned up like a few little yeah. bits and bobs. but other The filter's that, pretty heavy, so, so she, wouldn't she wouldn't have, have to, to do, do much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then, so I've worked with other photographers who do that, and then I started working with you, and I'd do this, I'd come to the studio, I'd spend like three hours here, and then I'd get one photo. <laughs> and I'd be like, but we did like three outfit changes, and you're like, yeah, but that's the best photo of the day. And I'm like, oh, but I really like this one. And you're like, yeah, well, I sent you the best photo of the day. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, like, but that was from day one. But also, and yeah, also back then, now you actually understand what I'm talking about, yeah. about the best photo. You think these photos are great, yeah. but that's because this looks good on your eye. Don't have a double chin. Or it yeah. wasn't good because your eyes were half closed. It's just your chin looked good. No, I would never. Never, no. Like oh, there was a picture the other day that I was talking about before picked, and one eye is three-quarter closed. Like, oh, I can see why you like it, Rib cage. Well, I anyway. found a photo in my... Thing I need to show you because remember the other day you asked me which photo I, I found a shoot that I want you to go back and want to it. steal. No, oh, I just no, want what, you to go back. And oh no, there's a there's like there's all right. So I've got a period of six months I need to revisit because mm. there's a lot of photos I didn't retouch because I had I didn't thing. You didn't set a time, but that's fine. Uh, there, mm. there was a lot of. Uh, it was that little fault that I found and nobody else in the world had found that was there for six months that solarised the pictures when you did this and did this and this and this. And that's when they came up with V1 and V2. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They then, but it made this stupid solarising and I would retouch around the solarising mm -hmm. and there's some of my favourite pictures in there now that I know that I can open them up in a new focus and they mm -hmm. won't solarise. Oh, no, this isn't from that long ago. It was just like, I guess because we shoot all the time, I sometimes forget about shoots that we've done. And I was scrolling through my camera or looking for something and I saw a photo and I was like, oh, I forgot about, oh, I really like that photo. Yeah, I'll just Yeah, I'll send it tomorrow. I will. I will. And you can, I'll put it on your to-do list for you. I if you have a look at my to-do list, you'll see that I've got stuff like Rara Drive D7, yeah, which is like three years ago. I know. Your Peter edit list, I think, has got like 50 things on it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but there. Yeah. It's seriously like I. I well, it's like Shay. We did the dog mask shoot. I haven't edited dog one of mask shoot. Yeah, you'll see it in my to do list. Oh, okay. I think we shot it five years ago. Oh, okay. And it was really cool, but for some reason, I think I got really busy with commercial work, and yeah. all of a sudden I forgot about it. So when I was like, I think I was saying something to Jared about you being like busy with editing, and Jared asked me, he was like, I understand videos take a really long time to edit and he's like but like how long does it take peter to edit a photo like he's like i'm just curious like how long does it take him to take him like an hour and i'm like well it can take him up to an hour depending but i'm like but most of the time i don't know like he tries to keep it to about like 20 30 minutes i'd say i know some the longest time is going through finding the photo and that's what i said to him. and then i was like i was like that... but the actual time in photoshop isn't where he spends a lot of time. Like the problem is going through all of the photos and picking out. I literally have a 10 stage. Yeah. So I go through five colors, then five different stars to yeah. then make sure I have got the killer shot yeah. because I really don't want to show the second best. I want to show. But yeah, and that's, and that's what I was explaining to Jared. I was like, the worst part of Peter retouching is going through the photos because he spends so long narrowing and narrowing, narrowing and narrowing until he's like, no, this is the very best thing from this shoot. But then that's people I say, I shouldn't shoot so much. If you had film, you wouldn't shoot this much. But like I say, well, you if, you, have got if, that shot. if you said to me, you have one shot at a hole in one or a thousand shots at a hole in one, I'll she take the a thousand shots and I'll spend my time taking those thousand shots. And you'll probably get it in there. And end. I'll, yeah, <laughs> no, that's, and I really have noticed with some of the shoots that a lot of really average shots, but there's that one just oh, like jumps pops. out. Yeah. And I don't care if it was two hours of work shooting and then two hours of work going through, but that you got shot, that. that's all I wanted was yeah. that shot. And 
I'd, I'd rather spend four hours to get that shot than not get that shot. Yeah. I, I hear it's what like, you're saying. It's like what we are talking, like I am, Beck's checking. I'm just checking how long we've been, I don't know how long we've been filming for. Does it tell me that? I'll wrap it up in a minute. But I'm I don't happy. know how long we've been filming for. Is it on the sound recorder? Oh yeah, 55 minutes. Oh my God. Oh, wait, so you're trying to Look kill it. us early. Oh, no, we can keep going. No, I just, that's spooky. Are you trying to get a spooky? That's like, I knew. You knew. I knew. I'm so smart. It's my ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> oh, jinx. That's a sports channel. <laughs> I know, but I... Oh, sorry, the Australia. What? The soccer. I, I ended up being fourth. I don't, didn't watch it. I don't watch it either. But I just, sorry, it was like, I saw the devastation on their face. Oh, I don't watch it. In four years' time, you win it. Anyway, I love that Adriana Lima was out in Australia. Why didn't you set up that we could meet her? Freaking. Because, no, I would. I know, we couldn't even meet Gemma Ward and we're at her show. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? You were talking about spending ages trying to get a killer shot. Yes, I was, I was going to go somewhere there before you rudely interrupted well, me. Well, I just wanted to see how long we were going for. What if we <laughs> went on for like, I don't know, sorry. So oh, we're very, it's, we're not like Joe Rogan goes for three hours. Yeah, not, I know. We're not doing three hours. What would we talk about? I'm keep my we're talking about me and Fussy and spending ages shoots and, and spending ages. And I was going to go on to something and I've lost my flow and... Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It was it my, is my fault. No, it's my fault. Alzheimer's and alcohol. <laughs> um, ah, it annoys me. So it was really, it was the best idea I've ever best. had. Best. If it was the best was idea I've ever had, you would remember it. Don't they say if you can't remember it mustn't have been that important? No, it means it was really good and you've I lost it forever. I, I just said it. You just said it wasn't my fault. How changing your mind. I'm a Gemini, I'm allowed to. You're creative. I'm creative. <laughs> I've got that list of creatives. I know. It's, just like, it's like I should read things them a out creative to you person again. does, and then Every one of them just like changes their mind often. And so every time Peter changes, he's like, I'll get into work, and he's like, right, I've changed the filing system. I know I just changed it last week, but I've changed it again. This is a new filing system. I'm like, okay, well, you're being creative, were you? And then I get in in two weeks. I've changed the filing system. So also, now. today we did the camera thing. <laughs> After the last camera, I had some hack to make our A7C get a cine tone colour, and the colour was terrible. So I went back today and said, all right, so instead of trying to make that camera match a cine tone, I will try and see if we shoot everything in still, which we always used to shoot, and I was happy. For, for, still was just for our... For our podcast, uh, sorry, yeah. for our um, Inspire and YouTube. Yeah. So it's a really nice, safe profile. And all of a sudden the S is now, it looks yellow. I don't know what happened to it. Mm. Oh. Every other thing. camera looks fine and the S went yellow. The other one changed it. Mellow. Things. Although, no, the, <laughs> yeah. the iPhone went mellow yellow too and I had to go back to auto and it didn't mellow yellow it's on yellow, me anymore. yellow, let it mellows. If it's brown, flush it Flush it down. It down. <laughs> <laughs> Except if you let it yellow mellows, it, the smell is it pretty really horrible. Disgust. Just flush it all. It's yeah, just, it's, yeah, it doesn't, it's not it. supposed to sit there and Ew. grow. Ew. Oh, it remind me of a dwarf. The no, toilets these, at the dwarfs. They, no, they use compost toilets. At, well, they, at Boom, they had compost toilets, which were... They have, they have the most SO. And, I mean, come day five, it's a bit gross. But... Yeah, because there's no compost left. It's sitting up around about no, your people, bottom. Actually, like I you was... actually have a poo and it actually sits against your no, bum because it's was... so full. So really... you've got to stand on top with both legs apart to drop a poo. I was really <laughs> impressed at Boom and at Tomorrowland. After sleeping on the side of a hill. But at Boom, the toilets were actually kept clean like the whole weekend. So not like the experience of Christmas time. Uh, in February, no, no, not one nothing. toilet for four hundred people. It was not four hundred people. Don't be so generous. Oh, two people. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think it was maybe like one hundred and fifty people, but one toilet. Who ended up broken after the first night? What? What do you mean? The to really? You expected one toilet for one hundred and fifty? Well, I only had one generator Thank for the lights and the sound, <laughs> and wondered why it died. <laughs> for the for the one food van, for the DJ decks, for the lights, for the sound, one generator. Oh, it conks out. Well, <laughs> Jesus, I don't even it do It was this. the one toilet 
the pushed over the edge, powering was, the light in the one toilet. It was a lot. It was just, anyway, toilets and boom were kept extremely clean. They had people on duty, always cleaning them, always making sure there was toilet paper, and it was a good. It was good. But Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland, a, they had the plastic chambers of death, but they were also kept clean. And but there would have been like F1. So you go to F1 and you've got 100,000 people there. The mm. toilets were fine. They never stunk. Oh. There'd be massive queues. You'd go in. There'd always be cleaning stuff every after every five per people give a spray. The toilets behind main stage got a little bit fucked by the well, end. Well, don't go to <laughs> yeah, main so stage. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't go to like, except, <laughs> except when you're at main stage and then you need to pee and then you're only ones you can go to. So that kind of was a no. But the like the ones, the ones like all dotted throughout. Why weren't you just all sweaty? Why don't you just pretend you're in a pool? No, because that's yeah. <laughs> I've seen pictures of the girls walking off. Ew, that's gross. No, uh, yuck. I can, I'll show you tomorrow. Yuck, that's disgusting. There's video of girls walking out and it's obviously didn't make the toilet. Oh, God, no. And they had jeans on. Oh, the poor things. That'd be so traumatising. Yeah, that's what I mean. Aww. But I don't think they care. I think they're too spaced out to care. They just pretended they were in a Fiji pool. <laughs> Or they're in the sex pool. <laughs> Gross. Oh, my God. On that note, maybe we should skedaddle. Maybe we should. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. Skedaddle as well. Enjoy your week. We... Enjoy your week. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm. What picture are we going to pick up? Oh, Everyone loved our picture from last week. Shit. All right. Um... What are we going to do? All right, so I'll do... The oldest... I'll do a fishing picture of me. All right. What are you going to dig up? Have you got a princess picture of you? I've got me um, when I was, like, four years old and I did ballet and I'm dressed as a bunny and it's like, oh, oh you're going to love it. All right, so you sent me through old Matt Tat with a, <laughs> <laughs> me with a fish. All right. All right? Makes no sense, but sure, it sounds great. It sounds like No, it's just... Otherwise, we just sit here and do something stupid. And yeah, no, I'm fine with that. You're fine with that? Let's do that. Cool. All right. <laughs> Bye, See you next guys. week.